If you viewed our video Thales Theorem, you may have noticed that a number of viewers asked an apparently simple question. They asked, how do I know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle totals 180 degrees? It turns out this question does not have a simple answer. In researching this, I discovered something profound about the nature of mathematical knowledge and the role this question played in describing the universe. Here's an accepted proof of the 180 degree question. First appearing in ancient Greece, this has been with us for over 2000 years. We will invoke Euclid in this proof. Euclid stated five basic postulates that are the basis of his geometry. In this proof, we will use his fifth postulate to prove that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. The proof goes like this. Draw a triangle with vertices A, B, and C. The associated angles we will label as angles A, B, and C. I'm using lower case to represent the angles. Next, draw a line through the upper vertex of the triangle, point B. Make this line parallel to the line AC. According to Euclid's fifth postulate, angle C is equal to this angle formed by the parallel line. This angle also has the value C. These two equal angles are called alternate angles. You may be familiar with a drawing like this. Two parallel lines with a third line crossing them. These are the alternate angles. According to Euclid, they are equal. This fact derives from his fifth postulate. Back to our drawing, we see an equivalent configuration with the other side of the triangle. Angle A is equal to its alternate angle, this one. So this angle created by the upper parallel line is equal to angle A. The proof is in front of us. We know that a line that rotates to make an angle of 180 degrees creates a straight line. Looking at the top of our drawing, we can see that angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degrees. A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. Unfortunately, this elegant proof is imperfect. It requires using Euclid's fifth postulate the ancient assertion that alternate angles in a parallel construction are equal. No one has been able to prove Euclid's fifth postulate. He seems to have gotten it right, it works, but it remains unproven. For thousands of years, brilliant minds have labored trying to resolve this. Books have been written on this topic, but the fact remains that our proof and others of the 180 degree question are based on an assumption that cannot be proven. I believe that this reveals something about the nature of knowledge. Perhaps the best we can do when it comes to the foundations of our logical processes is to accept some things as being true and build from there. If these first principles are flawed, the flaws will be revealed with time. And a flaw has been revealed in Euclid's math. His geometry struggles to describe the universe. Triangles change when mapped onto a non-Euclidean curved space. No longer is the sum of the internal angles 180 degrees. The complex interplay of time, space, and matter require a new mathematical foundation. Modern day Euclids are laying the foundations of this new geometry. It is likely that this new geometry will have its own flaws. Euclid's math is still important. On a human scale, it enables the geometry used by architects and engineers as they design the structures and machines of the 21st century. For more science and technology videos, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the videos link.